All right, last week's big news in the Murdoch murders, crime and corruption saga in the federal criminal case. Exclusively reported here on Fitz News, the existence of an audio recording made by Russell Lafitte, the disgraced banker who was one of the key cogs in the alleged financial criminal enterprise of Alec Murdoch. But we're now starting to ask some questions. Was it really Alec Murdoch's enterprise? Was it really Russell Lafitte's enterprise? Or were there others higher up, perhaps the real masterminds of this scandal? Well, we got a peek at that with Russell Lafitte's alleged audio recording, which was the subject of an emergency hearing in federal court last week, which we again exclusively reported on. But this week, we are hearing another major development in this federal criminal case. Folks, apparently this wasn't the only recording Russell Lafitte made. And you, you had to know this was coming. You had to know this was coming. If you're smart enough to record one board meeting at which there's uh, evidence, uh, according to Lafitte anyway, that others were involved in this conspiracy, you had to know that there were other tapes coming. We've been told multiple audio recordings made by Russell Lafitte which implicate, again, not only others at Palmetto State Bank, the financial institution where he was CEO prior to being fired back in January of this year, but also individuals at Alec Murdoch's firm or law firm, PMPED. And again, this is interesting because just yesterday we reported on news that was exclusively broken by Michael DeWitt of the Hampton County Guardian about a civil lawsuit which named not only Alec Murdoch, but PMPED and two other attorneys at the firm, one of whom has since gone on to another firm, but two other attorneys at the firm accused of a conspiracy to deprive a recipient of funds from a settlement. Again, a pattern of crime, a predicate crime, which again raises another important question. Where are the RICO charges in this case? On the federal side, on the state side, clearly you have a conspiracy. Clearly you have a pattern of crime. Now the only question we've got to find out is just how how far that and wide that conspiracy goes, and who was masterminding it. Again, as we get closer to those stories, keep it tuned to Fitz News as we report on the latest developments on the federal and state Murdoch murders, crime, and corruption cases.